versus AR Fox, and we discussed earlier that there would be a special guest referee, and even you didn't know who it was, and it is the former Shinron. Yeah, we've got, we've got Zenshi making a big return to Beyond Wrestling. And I mean, talk about the history between Shinron and AR Fox. I mean, the ladder match that they had back at King of Arts, one of the most incredible spectacles, not only in Beyond Wrestling, in professional wrestling history. And I think AR Fox knows, let's just finish this. Brandon Watts has been a thorn in his side over the past couple months, but Fox got a victory with the low blow with their initial match at Death Knell. The rematch was signed for Go With The Flow. And at that point, Kevin Quinn was trying to come alert the other official that AR Fox was cheating and it unfortunately inadvertently causing a distraction, which ended up coming back to cost Brandon Watts once again. They're coming over here, you better be careful. Oh boy, oh boy. Right in front of us right here. This is not what I signed up for, Denver. This is not what I signed oh. up for. And Zenchi's giving him a lot of leeway. It's Watts is standing right in front of us. You can see the scar clear as day right across his throat. I mean, Zenchi also broke his neck in a Beyond Wrestling ring and also knows what it's like. But I mean, what's going on right here? I mean, Brandon Watts went to the back. This is not what I signed up for. Uh, I, I, the action is getting up close and personal here. Oh, and Watts flying off the stage. That big money poppy. The shred god. Months of pent up aggression taking it out on AR Fox. Nobody ever accused either of these men of wasting time. We are two minutes into this match, and we have already seen a stage dive, a body slam on the floor, and a suicide dive. You ever seen some wild shit? It's an AR Fox match. I keep seeing him clutch his, his arm, though. I'm not sure. Oh, God, Fox is back up, and he's scowling at everybody. Oh, man, that is just a face of Oh, but Brandon Watts is taking chairs out. You're going to think that Zenchi's going to be giving these guys a lot of leeway. Well, I mean, as a professional wrestler himself, you you wish every now and again that the ref would give you just a little bit more slack. What's Watts doing right here? He's got a sight set on the audience. He's got a sight set on Ed Tellier. He's coming after you. Hey man, you set up that chair, though. When you sign up to be a Beyond Wrestling VIP, you get your money's worth. That is for sure. AR Fox is reeling right now. I really want to know what Watts has in mind right here. Oh, Watts has something in mind, setting up a second chair, almost wiping out. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to stay as close to the action as safe to do so. Oh, oh, and Watts just getting sent into the stage with a super kick. Colorado, I am not an active wrestler anymore. This is way too close for me, man. You know, Fox still has his Legion supporters here. I mean, the years of incredible matches that he's had for Beyond Wrestling, just because he's got a new attitude, that's certainly not gonna go away. Some of my favorite, man, I, I could still go back to this day and watch that ladder match between AR Fox and Shin. Uh, we brought an extra garbage can just to clean up some of the streamers here, but... Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna be used for that one at this point. So we got two chairs, we got a garbage can, I'm confused. It's, these are not the ingredients. This is not the recipe for good old fashioned wrestling. Fox is looking to set up a garbage can on top of the chairs. And Fo Fox is arguing with the fans now and watches back up right in front of us, right by the camera. Oh boy, oh. Face first into the barrel. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I do not like this one little bit. Bending him over the barrel. Is Fox going to be able to get out of the way? What's Watts got in mind here? Watts, 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 Watts. Oh! oh! AR Fox moves out of the way and Watts just eats that garbage can with that front slash. He was looking for the elbow. That's what was pointing out and that's what caught the garbage can. Get him back in the right spot. This is Fox the, is just laughing now. These are the type of things that wrestlers do at American Rana. You want to have that moment. You want to have that standout remembrance moment where the fans leave the show talking about you. And that's exactly what Watts was going for with that frog splash, but it really, it did not work out. I mean, starting to clear the area right here of debris so that fans can resume to their position, but you know, Zenchi's star to the count finally. A hell of a time to uh, start enforcing the rules, but I'm telling you, man, Watts' arm is jacked up. And you would think, at least knowing the 
beyond wrestling history that Zen Shi may have given a little bit more slack to Watts than AR Fox and the fact that that Zen Shi is in the ring right now administering that 10 count. I mean, it's been a fairly even count. Oh! He rolls back into the ring, out of the frying pan, into the flame. One, two. That was a little too close for comfort for me, Corvus. These guys fight on the floor. I mean, just getting absolutely buck wild. It is American Rana. This is not what I signed up for today. I did not want to be part of the action. I just wanted to call it. And they were mere inches from us. Fox might be looking for a brain buster now. That fox catcher. Oh! No, instead, the spinning brain buster. Like, only he can perform. But you know what? The big difference between AR Fox now and Brandon Watts is Fox is gone through the difficulties of realizing I'm not invincible. I know that this isn't gonna last forever and, and Fox is a little bit smarter. It almost seems as though Watts likes to continue to tempt fate coming back from a broken neck. I mean, Rox, excuse me, Fox broke his wrist so he was out for a few months. When he came back, you saw a totally different AR Fox. People used to say, you know, all he does is stunt show wrestling, it's nothing but risk. But AR Fox has gotten so much smarter and Brandon Watts is almost defined of that. I mean, again, jumping twice off the stage, once working to his benefit, the second time, I mean, take a look at the ring. It tells the rest of the story. Well, keep in mind one thing you have to realize, when, when Brandon Watts broke his neck, he was part of a tag team. This is really his first big venture this past few months out on his own. And he's really trying to make that stamp. He's really trying to stand out. And you're gonna take risks like that. Of course. But you know what, he was super close to beating Fox both times. I'm telling you, there were definitely some discrepancies with the officials. Zen Shi, the special guest referee, I don't think he's gonna be afraid to mix it up, but with that said, I mean, he might be susceptible to make a bad call too. I mean, we're all human and he's not even a trained official. And regardless of what, what the arguments may have been on those calls, Brandon Watts did not walk out victorious. Oh, that is going to because of stuff him. like that, and whereas Kevin Quinn would have called a disqualification, we're seeing a warning from Zen Shi. Oh, just a neck breaker from hung up from the ropes. And one thing I gotta say about Fox is that he has not pulled any punches, continues to target the surgically repaired neck of Brandon Watts, not only throughout this match, but also their previous two encounters. AR Fox. This is shaping up to be the most physical of all three. And the thing about AR Fox, man, he just makes these things look easy. His high flying, his power, his strength, he makes it look effortless. I mean, dude, I've always said AR Fox is like an Olympic caliber athlete. It's just he decided to, to apply his skills here in the world of professional wrestling. I mean, this guy could be a gold medal. It ain't working, brother. Gold medalist in you know, a, a, a number of different sports. He's just, he's just a, a once in a lifetime type of competitor. But Brandon Watts is trying to prove himself against that once in a lifetime type of competitor. And that's the thing is, what does that do for Brandon Watts' career? That's what he knows. He knows that if he can defeat A.R. Fox, this man that is at the top of the mountain, who has been there, he has done that. If Watts can pin him or submit him and put him away, that can skyrocket Watts' stock here in Beyond Wrestling. Well, close don't get you the cigar. And right now, Brandon Watts is a long way away from winning this one. Uh, Fox and Zenshi getting into it. Giving me some flashbacks to a few years ago, man. Those two men tore each other apart. Fox for was sent tumbling off of the balcony through a plastic table, and that was just a couple weeks after suffering a severe concussion. I mean, I'm telling you, Fox has definitely gotten a, a lot smarter the more that his career has progressed. But the one thing that AR Fox has never overcome is a broken neck. Brandon Watts has, and he has come back better than ever. Yeah. And each and every one of these matches, they are learning each other's nuances more and more, and they uh, seem to have so you're much seeing a lot, You're seeing a lot of counter-wrestling in this one. The physicality also continues to oh, pick no. up as Watts came charging in. Looked like he might have been going for that Death Valley driver on the apron. Fox slingshot himself in, landing on his feet, getting some separation. Watts with a little misdirection. Oh, Fox is one step ahead. Oh, fuck! Catches it with the low floor as Fox went for that springboard. Two. Oh, he kicks out. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, Fox was looking for the ace of crushers, that springboard ace crusher. Instead, maybe, like you said, he had to survive the broken neck, but he might be leaving Worcester with one tonight. 
Brandon Watts just woke up the crowd here at the White Eagle. He is really showing the fans here at Beyond Wrestling at American Rana's matinee show that he has what it takes to put away AR Fox. I mean, that, that takes an incredible vertical leap to be able to jump that high. And not only that, but the timing to drive your knees. But look at how resilient Fox is. Fox knows, man, I was really close to losing right there. He doesn't want to experience that feeling again. Hey man, that move is called the lung blower because it drives oh. all the oxygen out of your lungs. The fact that AR Fox was able to get his wits back about him to mount this, this counter. Yeah, Fo Fox is on the comeback. He's coming up right now. What's he looking for right here? Oh, instead got thrown, but rolling through, avoiding contact with the ring. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit for Brandon Watts. Oh no! Man, Watts was trying to pull himself up. He was about the same height as the second rope and Fox still caught him. He's got a hook by the head. What's he looking for right here? Oh, just spinning him off the ropes. Again, more awkward landings, more torque on the neck. And AR Fox knows it with each and every offensive maneuver. It targets the upper vertebrae, the, the cervical vertebrae of Brandon Watts trying to send him back to the hospital. And it's unfortunate when, when disagreements with wrestling wrestlers get to this point where it's almost you have to injure the other individual to get them out of your life. It's, 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 very, it's a very personal issue. And Fox was looking for that uh, sliced bread maneuver. He had a hold of Brandon Watts' head. And Brandon Watts just depositing him face and chest first under the mat. That almost looked like a desperation attack. Regardless of the desperation aspect of it, it was still effective. It gave him the opening that he needs to at least take a little bit of a break, regain your composure, rework your game plan a little bit because AR Fox has seemed to have an answer for everything that Brandon Watts has brought to the table thus far. And Fox really hasn't even pulled out the big guns yet. We've yet to see an attempt for the 450 splash. We've yet to see any attempt for the low main pain or the low main rain. I mean, Brandon Watts is going to be relying on that froggy elbow splash, but who knows the condition of his arm after he collided to the floor through a garbage can. Fox fires the first shot. And this is where a heated rivalry like this is going to end up. It's going to turn into a slugfest. You can hit those high-flying moves, those power moves, those strikes, but it really comes down to just who is the better man. It's all ego and respect on the line right now. Big and open hand strike from Brandon Watts. I gotta say though, I feel that a victory here does way more for Brandon Watts' career than it may do for AR Fox. Other than being able to brush this, this rivalry under the rug for him, this skyrockets Watts. But I think we're seeing a similar situation to what we saw with Malonis and Ace Romero in the first match. You know, we've got somebody that you know, is somewhat of a veteran here in Beyond Wrestling, especially AR Fox, and it's like Brandon Watts, you know, wants that spot. He's hungry. He's fighting for it. Well, I mean, he's doing a really good job fighting for it because I guarantee after this matinee show, these Beyond Wrestling fans are going to remember Brandon Watts. They are. He is going to have. Uh, I, I'm going to disagree, Corvus. They already know. I, they already know what he's capable of. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, today, I, but today they're going to see. You know, can he pull off the big one or is he a choke artist? And that kind of sets your ceiling in professional wrestling, at least in an organization. How far you're going to get with the fans? How far you're going to get with bookings? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Brandon Watts with this opening right now, but Fox able to catch him with that super kick. Just a bit of a glancing blow. Oh, and Watts that time with the right arm, caught him on the inside of the ear. Fox, Matrix and out of the way. And Zaguri, now that's classic AR Fox. Oh! Lariat driving through AR Fox, taking him out. He needs to capitalize on this quicker though. Shinron once again issuing a count. Shinron gets to 10 before either man is up to his feet. Now see, this I match is going to be ruled a draw, but we're not even going to be considering oh, that. Double pump kick. And I have to give it to the special guest referee, Zen Shi, formerly Shinron. I really thought that his pass with AR Fox would have poked its head into this match a little bit more up to this point. But he's been calling it down the middle and really letting these wow. guys lay it out on the line. Just the fatigue on display right there. Both guys trying to kip up once again. Both guys collapsing. And we start the, we start the count once again. We're getting to the end of the road, Corvus. Something's got to give. Both of these men are starting to stir, starting to make their way back to their feet. 
both of these men really laying it out all on the line right here, man. It's crazy to you got see. It, man. The last two how matches didn't means. solve anything. The last two matches didn't solve anything, except the AR Fox is is willing to go to a place that Brandon Watts isn't. But Brandon Watts has more to prove, so he can't. You know, if he cheats to beat AR Fox, what's that gonna prove? What does Watts have in mind here? He's making his way out onto the apron uh, with We've seen Fox. him utilize that running STO, but Fox is also looking for a Death Valley driver no, no, earlier. No. Oh, no, no! This man has a surgically repaired neck, and AR Fox just dumped him right on the top of his head on the apron there. That might be... That might be it. That might be it. Because you know what happens when they put your neck back together? You, you lose a lot of mobility. Your body can't bend that way. Your body shouldn't be bending that way anyway. Then she out checking on Brandon Watson. We but, don't have to call this. But that should be the instance where maybe Zen Shi should be issuing a count. I'm just saying, you know, he is a special guest referee, but he's not a Beyond Wrestling license official. Yeah, but when you know that somebody is recovering from a neck surgery, you're going to have to go out and check on them. It's part of the official's job to take into consideration the health of the wrestlers. Oh, no, no, no. to the outside, completely obliterating Brandon Watts as he was recovering from that Dead Valley driver. And this is where we're starting to see the old AR fuck. That is how personal this rivalry has become. Dude, the thing about Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to tell me that Fox is going to be looking to do it again? No way. No! What is wrong with this guy? I'm taking a look. I'm seeing wrestlers surrounding the White Eagle, and everybody's mad right now. But that's the thing about AR Fox. This is a man who who does not care about his own health and well-being, and is willing to apparently put his health on the line just to obliterate his opponent. And it's working in his favor right now, Colorado. Uh, Fox up to the top, maybe looking for 450 splash to end it. That's it. One, two, three. Is that it? Did he get him? Oh, I see Zenji with two fingers up in the air. Are you kidding me right now? How many opponents have we seen AR Fox put away with that very 450? And that was after a Death Valley driver on the apron. That was after two somersault launches to the outside. Uh, Fox is starting to get mouthy with Zenji. I thought that was a fair count. We do not need to dig up old, old, old rivalries right now, man. You got to. You got to get your head in the game. You got to figure out what you got to do to it's put Brandon Watts away. You've been thinking it though. What an interesting choice of the special guest referee. I mean, Zen Shi, obviously his storied rivalry with AR Fox, but also Zen Shi, somebody that broke his neck in Beyond Wrestling like Brandon Watts did. Both competitors avoiding contact with Zen Shi. Oh, and Fox caught him. You're going to tell me that wasn't intentional? And the DDT spiking him. But Zen Shi can't make the count. He can't make the count. I mean... You're hoping to enlist a special guest referee so that something like this doesn't happen. But Zenchi hasn't really been around the wrestling game for a few months. You know, you get hit like that, it can be devastating. Listen, man, no, I don't care how many times you experience it. Getting kicked in the face never gets any easier, no matter how much time passes. Uh, Watts is trying to help Zenchi up. The Fox had him trapped in the corner, too. Oh, clear as day. And that's how Fox stole the last two. This is ridiculous, man. This was supposed to settle the score between these two individuals, and it seems like we're right back where Where's we started. Fox going? Oh, where's he going? Why are they coming back to us oh, again? Fox is going for the steel chair now. <laughs> the fans partying like yeah, the Red that's Exactly team. what I was gonna say. Get away from the madman with the steel. This is a this is a bad spot for Brandon Watts right now. I don't care how shredded you may oh, be. Oh, here comes Kevin Quinn rushing to ringside. And Kevin Quinn, he was an instrumental player in the rivalry between AR Fox and Shinron as well. Hey man, other than nobody in Beyond Wrestling wants to see this match go down like that. Well, this is unexpected. I thought this guy was laid up in a hospital bed. And Kevin Quinn with the shot! Oh! What the hell is going on? We were worried about the impartiality of Zen Shi, and Kevin Quinn comes out here and pops Fox in the face! And Fox still able to kick out after all of it! 
We got ourselves a match! This is a roller coaster of emotions. I don't I don't know how to conduct myself. I don't know how to feel I mean, right come now. on! You wanna see Watts pull it off, don't you? I'm trying to be impartial, man. I really, really am. But I know that AR Fox won his first two matches based on low blows. I am so glad we didn't see that happen again. Oh, a little bit of vindication for both Kevin Quinn and Brandon Watts. Brandon Watts still gonna pick up the Duke here. Watts might be looking for that froggy elbow. That Looks big like it, poppy. His arm is feeling much better than it was earlier today. Oh, he can't keep Fox down, man. He's the rubber band man. He's just invincible. We were talking earlier about absorbing punishment. Is there any professional wrestler in, in the wrestling world that absorbs punishment <laughs> no, like AR Fox? Nobody. Fox, Fox should be a deathmatch wrestler. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, boy. Brandon Watts was trying to push AR Fox. I'm not sure what he has in mind right here. This is a precarious position. I do not like this one bit. What's Fox looking for from this position? Maybe an inverted 450? Uh-oh. German suplex. Tossed him right off the top. This is gonna be Watts' final chance. Can he connect with the elbow? Big Money Poppy, the shred guy. Pretty Boy Flacco! Oh, the height on the elbow drop! Covers one, two, three! He got him! All right, Brandon Watts! receiving vindication for his months of issues with AR Fox. We had Kevin Quinn come out, pop Fox in the face. We saw Shinron get kicked, but at the end of the day, it's Brandon Watts with that top rope, froggy elbow, able to put away AR Fox. Thank you so much for joining us for the American Rana 17 Matinee Show. And this is only part one. Celebration. But beyond wrestling, I'm back. <laughs> now, man, that was, that was hell of an impressive. Stood in the ring with one of the best to ever do it. With one of the best in the game, somebody I know very well, very, 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 very well, AR Fox. Give it a hand for Fox and Brandon Ross. One more time, 